Well, earlier this year, a service designed to share books between main libraries came to a sudden stop. But today, the interlibrary loan system is back online. Here to explain more on what the service is, is the Maine State Librarian, Lori Fisher. Thank you so much for being here with us, Lori. Thank you for having me. Could we start off by talking about the interlibrary loan service and what it is and why it's back? Interlibrary loan allows all the libraries within New Hampshire or within Maine, uh, academic, public, special, and school libraries to share their collection. So it basically makes it one big collection across Maine, which allows all libraries to really have a lot more of an effective and efficient use of their local taxpayer dollars because we're sharing resources statewide. So it's up and working again. Uh, yes. uh, so there's nearly 200 libraries in the state. So they just deliver library books. And, and products to each one of the libraries around the state. So it's like a big truck that just travels around. <laughs> I, I didn't even know, like I didn't even know this thing existed, right? It's, it basically, we, uh, we call them van routes. Most of the routes are run by vans um, and there's eight to 10 routes uh, across the state. Uh, some libraries get five deliveries a week. Some libraries, the smaller ones, get one day a week. Um, most of the public libraries uh, are one day a week because they're small. They serve a population of under 5,000. Um, and we often, subsidize that with the main state library funds for those libraries we subsidize one day for each public library so it's a combination of state library funds federal funds that we get and um, libraries pay in as well why did it come to a stop we had to go out to RFP we are a state agency the main state library and it's a state procurement process to go out to a request for proposal so that means we had to go out and get bids to for the service we do this every four to six years it's required by state law um, with this time around though what happened was the incumbent bidder decided to appeal the decision because the award was not going to the vendor that had it they had to go through the process that is allowed to them and that delayed everything and that's why we ended up having to shut the service down and turn off requesting for interlibrary loan for a time Geographically, Maine is such a huge state. How important is that uh, to our state? It's hugely important, particularly because we're, we have major pieces of our state that are rural remote. So a lot of these places would not be able to access the materials and those people in those communities, that's the whole purpose of libraries is to help them improve their quality of life by getting access to information. So we help with that with the service. How important is it to have it back, especially as students are heading back to school, you know, that education mm -hmm. aspect of this? It's hugely important, not just for K-12 schools, but the academic libraries as well. There's a lot of interlibrary loan that goes on between the universities, all the private colleges, uh, all the K-12 through schools. A lot of the K-12 through schools use their public libraries for interlibrary loan, but it's a huge service across the state, and we're really happy that it's back up and running. So many people, of course, have phones, and they can get so much information on their phones. Uh, and have you seen that the libraries, uh, are, have, have the amount of people that visit libraries gone down or is it about the same or increased or, or how's it been with our new technology out there? It's actually been pretty steady and we're getting back up from our COVID pandemic uh, closures that everybody experienced. Uh, people use libraries for so many different things. It's not just books. There's a great programming. There's always summer reading. Um, we have libraries of things where you can borrow anything from uh, a post hole digger to a musical instrument to all sorts of things that people use in their everyday life, but maybe don't can't afford to go out and buy. And I think we have to remember not everybody can afford an iPad or a Kindle or frankly, a phone. So having computers in libraries and free Wi-Fi and database access where they can learn new job skills is really important. How can people take advantage of this program, this service? We, all libraries, uh, anyone who lives in their community, if you have a library, you can get a library card. If you don't, you can also get a library card through the Maine State Library. That gives you access to the interlibrary loan services, van delivery, all of the um, databases that we offer. Uh, so you just come to Augusta and you can uh, get a library card at our location and then you're set to go. Yeah, people are shocked by how many libraries there are in the community. I mean, in Portland, lots of people don't even know that you have them just down the street from you, right across from during high school, uh, near uh, uh, you know, uh, elementary school on uh, you know Forest Avenue. I mean, they're all over the place in the town, mm -hmm. not just the big one downtown. Yep, they are, and they're all over the state, too. It's amazing what these small libraries are able to do for their communities, too. They're very community-centric. Uh, many of them are community-funded because, as you know, Maine is a local control state. So it's really important that the library reflect what the community needs and that's what they all try to do.
What's the best way for people to learn more and what's your address if they want to come by and get a library card? They can come to the just Google Main State Library. We're going to come right up on the top of the list. Mm -hmm. uh, all the information about our services is on our website and I would also encourage you to look at your local library. Really find out what your local library offers and go get a card. Yes. It is a good feeling, right, yeah. to have that in hand. And yes. by the way, I still have a DVD player, so I like going out and get some of the yes. movies that aren't available, some of the old mm -hmm. ones that you can't get on Netflix or one of the other streaming services. Exactly. So, yeah. so yes. many benefits. All right, so many. Lauren, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Good to meet right. you. Get out and read a book.